Hey everyone, I'm Francesca. So for my project, I chose to focus on drug addiction and drug abuse, but more specifically heroin. I just want to take a closer look since it's become such um, an issue on the rise. Um, I also chose to look at the location of Newport, Kentucky. I currently live in Southgate, so I'm in Newport all the time. It's literally within maybe a minute of me. That's how close I live. Um, so... Heroin has just been really on the rise for the past few years, and it has led to many overdoses, especially um, recently in Louisville. There have been a lot of reported overdoses on the drug heroin. So for my volunteer portion of my project, I decided to go to the Brighton Center, which is based in Newport, Kentucky, but they also have other branches such as in um, Florence and Covington. So with the Brighton Center, they help... Um, anywhere from infants to senior citizens. So they have a women's recovery center and um, basically they just help women who are trying to fight drug abuse or drug addiction and they focus on changing the behavior and the attitudes that contribute to their drug addiction. And then also um, the portion of the Brighton Center I chose to volunteer at was the Scholar House where I got to work with an infant and also a child of um, around kindergarten first grade age. Um, it was lovely working with the infants. I enjoy children a lot. Um, working with the the child of kindergarten first grade age, she knew that her um, her parents had been sick at one point, but she did not know to the extent because she was so young. She got to see the effects of um, the effects that drugs take on the family, but from a different perspective from what we would see. Whereas us being much older, we understand, where she just sees that her parents are arguing, her parents are having trouble with the bills. She just sees that her family is slowly declining. Um, but her mother is now back on track. Um, for the Scholar House, you have the parent has to be um, single, and they have to be in post-secondary education, in which the Brighton Center will help them as much as they can with housing, financial aid, food stamps, anything such as that. Um, so I got to talk with some of the staff as well, and um, I just asked them their opinion on how they think these, these families feel, whether it be a mom or a dad that lives in the scholar house due to drug abuse or drug addiction and trying to get their life on track. And many of them said that they just want to be understood, and they just want people to know, and the community to know, that they just want help. They just want help in any way that they can get it, and they just want people to know that they are trying. They want people to know their story so that people understand where they're coming from and understand how bad drugs do affect your family. Um, I think this project, just in general, getting out there and volunteering just helps people see the actual effects drugs have. Instead of judging people for being on drugs, you actually see that it's a one-time use. You can easily become addicted. Also, I think education is very important. We need to get out there and talk about it. It's such a it can be such a touchy subject because it can be so harmful, but we do need to get out and educate kids even at the elementary level because it's such a big issue. We just need to talk about the effects, how easy it is to become addicted, and just how to stay away from it as much as possible. So that was my project. I hope you all finish out finals good. So, bye.